Welcome to an NFL playoff game in Detroit. Reynolds, let's go. The Lions are going to take over at the 25. And here's their offense. Practice on Friday in the lineup to start. The first run is Montgomery. And Montgomery right near the line for a first down at the 35-yard line behind that good old line. 35, Goff throws for the first time. It is caught. It's Jamison Williams. Stumbles right around the 40-yard line. And has put uh, both Goff and the Lions back in the headlines. David Montgomery right. First down on the 46-yard line against this Los Angeles defense. Including Aaron Donald, the future Hall of Famer. First down for Goff. Play action. Middle shot is caught. On the run. Terrific hands by Josh Reynolds. Former Ram to former Ram. You're going to see in the space right in here. Watch all the protect. From the 30-yard line, Montgomery dipped to the right. Nice move. Montgomery's got speed, but he also has the ability to make a guy miss. Gain of seven until Quentin Lake took him down. Five, 24, and seven on their first five plays. And flip it out to their top receiver, Amon Ross. St. Brown takes it into the red zone. First down Detroit at the 18, Ernest Jones. He's the motion man from the 18. Goff going back to the air. Five options. Comes to the tight end. Laporta out of bounds right around the 11-yard line with Kobe Durant there in coverage. Way into the opening drive. Goff, slam. Caught inside the five. Reynolds to the two. First and goal, Lions. What an opening drive. David Montgomery straight ahead. He stopped up there right around the half yard line. Of course, Aaron Donald's inside there. Right back to Montgomery. To the end zone. Touchdown, Detroit. Every run has been to this side of the offensive line. They are just dominating up front, and Panay Sewell and this offensive line, even against Aaron Donald, getting a push back into the end zone with that double team, start things off for the Detroit Lions. Michael Badgley is their kicker. His extra point is good. Jack Fox is going to kick it off. He's the punter. Austin Trammell back deep for the Rams. This one, fair catch. The Rams will have it to 25. Here comes Matthew Stafford. From the 25, Kyron Williams. Good tough inside run by the running back from Notre Dame. Got louder as he tried to change and communicate. Stafford underneath. Kirkman Akua brought down by Brian Branch. That's good rookie on good rookie. It'll be third in the yard coming up. Stafford will fake it and throw it downfield incomplete contact to the foul pass interference defense number 32 the ball requested the spot on the foul automatic first down so much motion for the Rams Stafford climbs the pocket checks it down to Kyron Williams who has space and gains about nine yards against this Detroit defense Potential free play if you want to take a shot here. Second and one. And hand to Williams, who bounce it to the left to get a first down to the 43-yard line. And Skoranek in motion. Stafford gets rid of it quick. It's complete to Davis Allen. Who had only 10 catches on the year, but Stafford, who's that great many-platform thrower, year 15 in the league. 37. He'll get it out quick to Nakua with blocking. Puka Nakua on the run inside the 20. And Jack Campbell, the rookie, has to bang him out of bounds. The wide receivers are almost constantly in motion. So back and forth they go, fake the run, throw it out to Nakua, who runs like a fullback outside. Guys just bounce off of him. It's not that he's that big a player, but they say when he put on the pads for the first time in Rams camp. Stafford dialed in from the start. 16, Kyron Williams runs right. It's 
around the 12-yard line there. After the play, personal foul. Defense, number 31, pulling the player off the pile. That's half the distance of the goal, automatic first down. Complete pass or a gain of yards on the ground. First and goal from the six. Stafford towards the end zone. There's the game's first incompletion intended. Cup joins him. Stafford looks that way. Flips it towards the back incomplete. Alex Anzalone there. In Pressure on. Stafford gets rid of it. Deflected and incomplete. Nearly intercepted. Picking in the playoffs with Dallas last year. Short field goal here, 24 yards. And he nails it. Good for Maher to get rolling, get the Rams on the board that opening drive here in Detroit. America's Motor City and America's Music City as well in so many ways. It's 47 now and has led this resurgence for the Lions. But a great opening drive in the second drive. Goff, everything's covered. Jameer Gibbs out of the backfield. The rookie with a nice move to miss the tackle. Since the year he got here and they lost those games, it's how tough his team played. Right to the air again, Goff, and hit back to Reynolds. Right over the 39-yard line as he got hit and popped with a flag down, back by the quarterback. Personal foul, roughing the passer. Defense, number 31. The 15-yard penalty out of the end of the play. Automatic. First. Averaging seven per. Go right back to the air on first down. Goff throws it inside. It's caught once again. Gibbs, his elusiveness on display as he takes it to the 33. Gain of 14, and the chains move for a ninth first down. Florida in motion, leading the way for the 12th pick of the draft. Cuts it back for three. There is a flag, though, here on the play. Holding. Offense, number 77. It's a 10-yard penalty. Replay first down. Players, because it would have taken a lot, Philly and Dallas losing, for them to jump to the two seed. They are the three. Top stretch it. start for Josh Reynolds. Donald, it doesn't get there, and Josh Reynolds, this isn't a really overly fast guy. He's not overly big, but you can tell this game means something extra to him. He and Jared Goff, the former Rams, and Josh Reynolds, 20 explosives out of 40 catches this year. Give you some idea. Gives up the middle to the end zone. Another Detroit touchdown. Watch this double team right here. Up to the double team, to the next level. Huge gaping hole inside. Easy so far for the Lions. Jonah Jackson, that second block there. Extra point added by Michael Badgley. Jack Fox. Austin Trammell going to take it at the three. And some space to get going on the return. And he'll be just shy of the 30-yard line. A lot of big receiving games the last three weeks. How will they continue to do against Nakua and Cup as the Rams try to come back down 11. Stafford stumbles. Touchdown. Hutchinson does it at the 18. Ay, 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 ay. Now we're going to end up with Stafford just tripping himself on the turf and this crowd may go crazy. They had Eminem and the music playing and the beat rocking. Byron Williams inside. Alex Antimony, the tackle, gained a three. That was officially credited as a sack. Byron Williams up to protect. Pressure comes. Stafford gets rid of it and oh. completes it. <laughs> what a throw to the 42-yard line as Demarcus Robertson Brought it in for the first down at the end of the first quarter. Made one of the best throws I've seen this year. Sidearm, wrap around, barely even saw the defender coming at him, but watch what happens. His hand follows through right into the helmet of Aleem McNeil. He started working on it on the sideline. He has a cut on top of it. He's going to try to keep the swelling out of that. He made some kind of throw of 19 to set up his first down. Harry Williams, nothing, lost him a yard. Anzalone and Campbell, the tackle. 
a big story now for Matthew Stafford. After the loss of Walton, Stafford makes him can't throw it there. That is one shy of the first down. Puka Nakua and the Lions are going to have to rally to the ball. Did not play well a week ago. A little hesitate. You think you're trying to get just one yard, and there they go. So these two quarterbacks just exchanging haymakers so far in this game. and snap, but it is working out. It's those three incompletions in the red zone. He hit everyone on that drive to make it a four-point game. The Cowboys, he's got the trophy of the victory cigar. Went in the Super Bowl with the Rams. David Montgomery is the Lions continue to pound the Rams. He'll be a key contributor to that as well. And back to the run inside again. Easy four or five yards. There for Montgomery and Ernest Jones one more time to tackle. Chris, as we prepared for this week, you kept bringing up Jones' impact on the Super Bowl. Rams now bringing eight in the box down there, trying to stop the run. So Goff goes up top and he completes yet another one to the 45-yard line. Wrestled away by Jamison Williams. After go route, and now he's going to run a little hook. That'll set the hook. Off pressure, sideline incomplete for St. Brown. That's his first incompletion of the night. Goff in his first 10 passes. Set. After the first play with nothing gained for the Lions tonight, they go back up top and gain some yardage with Reynolds. He gets hit hard at the back end of the play. <laughs> Third five. Four, Goff's got time, and he's got a first down. St. Brown wrestled that ball away from Witherspoon. That is the toughness of Amon Ross St. Brown. They've established the run. Now they swing it out and get it into the hands of the speed. Jameer Gibbs with a great move in space. Gibbs takes it to the 11-yard line. Again, no pressure on Goff, but the Rams, if they're going to have a chance to win this game, they got to tackle better than this. They've yeah. got to be able to tackle these guys in space. Not easy. St. Brown's tough. Gibbs probably the toughest, but they have to tackle better than this. Just outside the 10. Lions can get a first down. Get a free five as Aaron Donald jumped and the left side of the line reacted. Neutral zone fraction. Defense number 99. It's a five-yard penalty. Still first down. But 80. Was that? He leads the way for Montgomery, who is stopped there by Jonah Williams, third-year man out of Weber State. St. Brown so good down here in the red zone. He'll run Montgomery. Goes to the left, gets to the four-yard line. Third and three. And he'll run it again with Montgomery to the left. And he is a yard and a half short of a first down. Fourth and a long yard. Two for the touchdown. Goff looking to throw. Throws back to the inside. Laporta! Touchdown Detroit again. They're three for three. Michael Hoyt drops out in coverage more than any other sort of outside linebacker, but trust me. Michael Hoyt is not going to cover that guy. Porta with a monster year for him. Michael Badgley adds the extra point. He did Most recognized French settlement in Michigan back in 1701. This uh, touchback here. Rams are going to take over the 25. Melissa Stark's been watching Matthew Stafford's hand during that last series. Melissa, what'd you see? Ronnie Rivers first snap. Not with Kyron Williams as the running back. Stafford throws, arm looks fine. Nakua, got to bring him down. He's so good after the catch. Gain of 20 for Nakua to the 45-yard line. Stafford back to the air. Throwing for Higby. His tight end incomplete with a flag down. As C.J. Gardner-Johnson is covering him. Holding. Defense, number two. It's a five-yard penalty. An automatic. First down. He has been on the money early in this game. Ronnie Rivers. 
It's back to the line of scrimmage. Aiden Hutchinson tackle. McNeil was the one running around. Williams has not gotten going at all or anybody else running the ball. Six runs, 16 yards for the Rams. It's a Stafford show. He's good at that. Inside throws complete. The Ben Skoranek, most of his career at Northwestern, one year at Notre Dame. Stafford loves operating from empty. Third and five, going to flip it up top and downfield for Robinson. He can't bring it in. Demarcus Robinson covered by Brian Branch. Going for it and picking it up for the first down with Cooper Cup. And C.J. Gardner-Johnson hearing it from his coach on the sideline. Lions bring an extra one. Anzalone's picked up. Stafford throws. It's caught. Look. Extra point. Robert just, just sneaks it in. It's hold your breath every time. The Eastern. San Francisco and Baltimore already there with their buys and the wins. And on the other side, you've got Jared Goff trying to prove that this is his team now. Jameer Gibbs in the running game is giving him more than Stafford's getting out of the running game. Every time it looks like the Lions might break away, they hit another one of those big throws. And the Rams should have a flag on that last play. Goff in trouble here. It's backwards. It has to be recovered, and it is by Decker. Well, Aaron Donald's the one that initially set it up, and then it was Jones who came and got it after that. And that's the play that Jared Goff can't make. He just, things have gone too well here tonight. A couple of plays for the Lions. Almost a delay of game there. They set up the screen. See what Gibbs can get back. Oh, a lot more than it looked like. As Jones had him by the ankle and brings him down at the third. Wow, what a story today. Third and 15 here for the Lions, and Goff, who sets, goes down, field complete to St. Brown for a big first down at the Rams 45. Aaron Donald, who's going to come around on a stunt here, and he got stuck. So there was no pressure whatsoever, and that allowed Jared Goff to just sit there and wait for his receiver, St. Brown, to get open. Second and 25, and the Lions gained 10 and 23. Now they go to Gibbs on the run to the sideline, out of bounds for a yard. Byron Young, some of an excellent draft from Les Snead, the outstanding executive for the Rams. A run on second down again with Gibbs trying to break through that hole one more time. He's brought down with a buck 40 left. It's third down for the lot. Ernie Morris, defensive coordinator, trying to find something to slow down this offense. Third and five, got hit as he throws, and the pass is incomplete. So that time, a little bit of the pressure gets there. And let's see what Detroit's going to do on fourth down. Fourth and five. And they got him. They got the jump with Jones. The hard count. Oh, looks like that is coming for false start first. So it says false start, and not Jones in the neutral zone. False start. Offense, number 68, five-yard penalty, fourth down. Now you're going to give the Rams a chance to go take the lead here. Yeah, that's a bad call in a bad spot. An important point of the game. Mistake there, no doubt, by the official. Fox kicks, travel, fair catch at the 10. Lions fans have seen 68 involved with calls too often. During the kick, personal foul, illegal blindside block, return team number six. That goes half the distance to the goal. First down, Los Angeles, timeout. Inside run, and it's a gain of about five and a half for Williams. See if either coach is going to call a timeout here. <laughs> Lions bring pressure. It's picked up. Throws complete to Cooper and Cup. will be tackled in the 18. Aiden Hutchinson is trying to rip the ball out. Fox kicks, Austin Travel lets you go, and a moment ago, Melissa spoke to Dan Campbell. A mistake, and there you go. Dan, thanks. All right, all right. <laughs> he's, he's amazing. Stafford from the 25, throws complete. Demarcus Robinson with the grab for 14 yards. Get a dozen, here we go. And the 39, Stafford, who's been sensational here tonight in his return to Detroit. Hutchinson flushes him. Stafford throws on the Cooper Cup, was wide open. But it's incomplete. Pig missed there with the pressure of Forsky. Back 
Hooked up top. Pulls it down. Hutchinson has him. As he was trying to escape, he's going to set up third and long. Third and 11. The Lions do bring the pressure. Stafford back foot puts it up top. Undercut Robinson. Incomplete. The Rams want a flag. The rookie seventh round punter, Ethan Evans. Donovan Peoples Jones awaits. Good pressure by the Lions. This guy's got a huge leg, and he kicks it all the way to the back of the end zone for a touchback. One touchdown. If they can keep that going, they win. Start on the ground. David Montgomery tries the second opening. We gain about four to the 24 yard line. But we can't let him wreck the game for us. <laughs> Second and six, fake to Montgomery, and Goff throws in. It almost looked like Reynolds wasn't ready for that ball. His head got around late. Five catches, most for any Lion. Third and six, pressure comes. Up and around St. Brown. Stays in bounds. And goes down around the 45-yard line. Kello Weatherspoon out here is the guy, when he's in bump and run, if you're going to beat him, you beat him off the line of scrimmage. You saw the move by St. Brown there and made an easy throw down the field for Goff. Watch how quick he is getting off this line of scrimmage and creating that kind of... Second in receptions, third in yards this year. First down toss, Jameer Gibbs. Is strung out well by the Rams. Gibbs stays in bounds. Long former player really connects with his players. <laughs> Second and nine for Goff. St. Brown in the middle of the field. He's down to the 30 yard. Second half. Lines bring two tight ends and run with Gibbs. Tries to get around the edge, and the Rams are quick to get to the edge on Gibbs in the second half as Christian Roseboom strung it out and brought him down for a loss on first down. Ernest Jones inside. They've got Quentin Lakes. We have not seen either team, Mike, really be able to get to the outside. And that's one of the trademarks of the Rams offense, those jet sweeps. I don't even think they've run one yet. No. Big loss of five. Jones pressure, got by the back, and got to Goff with the sack. So David Montgomery could not get the pickup. And you talked about it. It's set up in the first half, Chris. Slow down Donald. And this guy right there, if he gets on a back, you have a complete headache. Watch him split out wide, create that one-on-one -on -one for Ernest Jones against the back. That is no accident. That is a scheme that they work to perfection. You have to get inside the 20 for the first down. Rams rush three. Goff just gets it out to the sideline. A long way from the Porter to go. He's got about five. That was a big five, though. And this is 54. Field goals, a 54-yarder. Sean McVay happy they settled for three. Detroit happy that they got him. We're here on the U.S. side in Detroit. Lions lead by seven. Jack Fox kicks. Travel will let it go. Touchback, and the Rams will start this drive. If they can just keep the ball in front of them, they probably would have had a big lead here. A big opening for Kyron Williams. Closes quickly. C.J. Gardner-Johnson came down with authority to knock Williams. Did it to Isaiah Pacheco in the Super Bowl. In the 30. Play pass Stafford. They get it to Ronnie Rivers, who's got good blocking. Rivers out to the edge to the 46-yard line. And Jack Campbell reels him in. When you look out there that they're playing very wide by Matthew Stafford. <laughs> A little Magic Johnson no-looker there on that one. It's the second one tonight. The 47 lines bring the pressure. And Stafford underneath the crusher is Nakua. He tried very hard to bring him down. He gets nine as Kirby Joseph finally gets him to the ground. Turn and hand to Rivers. He's going to get the first down. Runs over Cameron Sutton as he gets it to the 37-yard line. Royce Freeman is now the running back. Flip out to Cooper Cup. The man who won the triple crown in receiving with the grab thrown out of bounds at the 34. With 6 2 205, he's been putting people down at the bottom of the pile. And he's blocking this year. Campbell's pressure's picked up. Stafford slinging it in the middle. Missed tackle. Allen on the run. Down to about the 11 yard line. First and 10. Rams trying to tie the game. 
Stafford out of the pocket. Not much there, and he'll throw it away as he gets to the sideline. See if he gets back in. Ronnie Rivers remains the back. There's the motion and the give to Nakua. Stretched out. Hutchinson started it. Finished off by the corner, Vildor. Play that time by Vildor. He could have been trapped down in here, but he escaped and went out and set the edge and turned this thing back in. With Cooper Cup in practice, working on these red zone drills. Stafford, pressure, throws underneath. Cup's got it, but he's tackled. Inside the 10 by Brian Branch. It'll bring up fourth down, and the Rams will bring out the field goal unit. That to the right side. He's still watching the blue tent. Matthew Stafford went in to be examined. We will continue to watch. Let's kick a touchback. The ball at the 25 yard line. The UNC, the unaffiliated neurotrauma consultant, is in there looking at Stafford at the moment, as well as the athletic training staff, we're told. As Amon Ross St. Brown with the catch later in the season by the Rams, preparing in case. Lions leading by four, Gibbs inside run with Aaron Donald and Bobby Brown. Caught the blitz, and now Goff has it. And they're going to run it. The adjustment here to Gibbs for two. Byron Young inside. Rams defense has been better against the run. Not in this game, not in the playoffs, not in this building. Sheena two off to Craig Reynolds, the back, trying to pick up the pressure. Goff stumbles and will stay down. It'll be a loss of a yard as Goff was trying to escape. Yeah, and here comes that pressure again. Ernest Jones, one-on-one -on -one with the back, made him step up and tripped himself on his own offensive lineman. The Lions have left the offense out there on fourth and seven at their own 38-yard line. Jack Fox, who's had a very good season to kick it for Detroit. Austin Trammell back to receive. As Fox unloads on one. Good kick. Travel back to the 10 for the fair kick. First and 10 from the 10. Aaron Williams, good move to find that space inside and try forward to the 25 yard line. It's a gain of 15 for Williams. And one of the things that I've really loved watching this week about Kyron Williams is how patient he is. When you get in an emotional game like this, an emotional moment like this, Game of 15, longest run of the game for either team. Now he's got a run of one. Right down to 26. Ball comes out there with the whistle head. Do not huddle, trying to catch the Lions. who look a little confused on the back end. And Stafford's going to the sideline. A lot of contact with Robinson. There is no flag, and you can see he's here tonight. Will the wait be worth it? Third and eight, they bring pressure, they throw Nakua behind it, and Puka, big hit, but gets there for the first down. Over the 35 and to the 36-yard line. Karen Williams. John Kaminsky waiting for him there. John Kaminsky does a lot of the dirty work for this Lions team. Second and nine, five in the pattern in the middle. Good job by Robinson. That was a hot shot to Marcus Robinson. And Skoranek willing to do some dirty work is in there at receiver. Kyron Williams busted through the arm tackle of Kaminsky. A lot of inexperience making playoff debuts here tonight. And doing well in this atmosphere. Williams left. Nice patient job like Chris was talking about to get through the hole and get the first down. Really nice job out on the outside by Alaric Jackson to get that corner going. I think that was against Hutchinson on the outside, but when they get this running game going, and remember, Mike, fourth quarter starts to get hot inside this building. It was a little cold down on the field. Rams on the move, play nine of this drive. L.A. trying to take the lead. Stafford protected, two downfield. Oh. And he's got Nakua in traffic. <laughs> what a laser, what a catch at the 14-yard line. Puka again for the eighth time tonight. The urge it takes to make this catch right here. There are four guys, four guys around Puka Nakua. He knows he's getting drilled. He's got to go up in the air, extend his arms, and just wait for the hit to take place. Something else, man. That was a gutsy throw by Stafford to lay that one in there. The third 
14. Williams inside. What will happen in the red zone this time around? Lions have had a couple of red zone stops already. Stop there. Second and 11. He'll slip to Rivers there. Anzalone stopped his feet. Tackled at the 11. So far, not getting anything done in the red zone. They snap quick. Stafford scans. Throws towards Cup. Can't bring it in. Ethan Evans, the holders, had a tough year learning how to hold. That was smooth. This kick's not pretty, but it's through, and it's a one-point game. Come to Detroit in late April. The NFL draft will be right here in downtown Detroit. So you can stop and get some uh, mom spaghetti at MM's place. See you there. All right. Lions open up this drive at their own 25, leading by one. Jared Goff's going to go to the air. He is flushed. He is frozen at the feet of the back. Montgomery. And it's incomplete. The Rams are... The pressure now falls right on the head of Jared Goff. Offense that was rolling in the first half has not been in the second half. Good run by David Montgomery. Eyes on Amon Ross St. Brown, third and four. Goff goes right high throw, incomplete. See how safe the Rams play, because the Lions run punt fakes as much as anyone. So it gives Fox time to take his time and unload a bomb. Jared Potter at the 10 by Trammell, who then went to run. Inside game, it's Ronnie Rivers. He's going to run it for about a yard and a half. Melissa, a couple of injury updates. Over the middle, Nakua, his ninth catch of the night. And he breaks away. Puka Nakua down the sideline. Out of bounds around the 45. Huge hit for 36 yards. Got out of the Kirby Joseph tackle and took off. Turn and come back all the way across, and you just can't believe that he so consistently can catch this ball and break tackles. You want to know how he got to the numbers that he got to this year? 1,486 yards. I'll bet you half of them. 182, record night for Nakua. For the 45, Stafford. Nice little side sling. Ronnie Rivers got it. A lot of space. Rivers for 15. And you're seeing it every game now. Stafford and Cup watching film in the mornings to be on the same page. Led to a big year for them. Stafford flings it in the middle of the field. Huge hit. Incomplete. And Tyler Higby is down. On the 40-yard line, the late pressure comes. Stafford stays in there and throws it complete to the 34-yard line with Cup. And again, a six and third down coming up. Four and a half to go. Third and four, Lions bring for Hutchinson. Couldn't get to Stafford, who throws it to Rivers, who loses a yard. Maybe two. There's a flag down back by the quarterback. Holding offense on the 79. It's a 10-yard penalty, third down. Third and 14. Stafford steps up, throws inside. Nakua incomplete with a ton of contact. No call and fourth down. The Rams only have one timeout. Makes it tougher to get the ball back. Evans nose down. Trying to pin the Lions back. It's caught on the run by Donovan Peoples Jones at the 17. Khalif Raymond's their normal punt returner. Rams only have one timeout and a two minute warning to stop the clock. The 18. David Montgomery runs for two. And that's been a big part of the story. The Lions only have 12 rushing yards. And in this game on offense. After the gain of three, they will throw out of the backfield. Montgomery works past Hoyt, gets a big first down, stays in bounds at the 31-yard line. First and 10, Montgomery breaks the block. But the Rams are all over it right now. Gain of a yard. Rams have one timeout left. It's second and nine for Jared Goff in the line. Three and five. Goff's going to throw, and it's caught by St. Brown for a first down. Timeout, Rams, 152 to go. Win a playoff game. Goff to a knee. There's a term around here, SOL. 
same old Lions. They always find a way. One more knee and business is done. And Detroit, for the first time in 32 years, your Lions have won a playoff game.